Welcome dear friend. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Maybe some of you've tried it already and seen this error before. We'll show you simple tricks to fix this and install Windows 11. Not only virtual machine, these same tricks work well for real PCs as well. Let's go ahead and get started. As a first step, please download Windows 11 ISO. If you need download link, please take it from video description below. On this page you have three options. You should select the last one over here. Please choose appropriate options. Finally click over here to download the ISO file. This file is little large, so based on your internet speed, it may take some time to download. Once download is completed, please open VirtualBox. If you do not have VirtualBox yet, please download and install from the link provided at the end of description below. Select machine and then choose new. Please give a name as you wish. Over here ensure the version is Windows 11. If you do not see Windows 11, maybe you are having old version of VirtualBox, please install the latest version. This is the path where the virtual machine disk file will be placed. You can change it as you wish, especially if you do not have enough space in C drive. Memory should be minimum 4096 megabytes. Ensure choose create a virtual hard disk now as selected. Please go ahead and tap on create. Over here you can adjust the hard disk size as you wish. I recommend minimum 64 gigabytes. Please leave other options as you see on my screen and click on create. Select the newly created VM and choose settings. Please go to system. And over here ensure that enable EFI is checked. Now please go to display. Graphics controller should be VBOX SVGA. You should enable accelerations. After enabling this, please increase video memory to 256 megabytes. Please go to storage. This is your virtual hard disk where we are going to install Windows 11. Along with this you should see an empty virtual optical disk. If you do not see, you can add it from here. Please choose the optical disk, and over here please select this little disk icon. And choose a disk file. You should now navigate to the folder where you have the ISO file that we initially downloaded. Select OK. We are all set to start the installation process. Once you see this prompt, Immediately press any key on your keyboard. You can change the view mode as you wish, I prefer scaled mode. Please select next. Exactly on this screen where it says install now, please press shift F10. You will see a command prompt. Please type reg edit and hit enter. Please expand H key local machine. System. Setup. Right click on setup. Select new and then choose key. Please enter lab config as name and hit enter. Now select lab config. Over here at the blank space please right click and select new dword 32 bit. Please name it as Bypass TPM Check. Double click to open and change the value data to 1. Click OK. In the same way please create one more value to bypass secure boot check. And finally one last value to bypass RAM check.
Please exit regedit. As well as the command prompt. Please go ahead and click on install now. If you have a Windows product key, please enter the same. If not, please select I don't have a product key. Select the operating system that you wish to install. Please accept license terms. Choose this custom option. Select the drive and click Next. Windows 11 installation has started. This is going to take about 30 minutes, maybe you should take a coffee break and come back. We're almost near the end of installation steps. Please choose country and keyboard layout. You can also give a name for your device. I'm going to set up this for my personal use. Over here you can use your existing Microsoft account, or you can even create a new. Alternatively, if you wish to set up a local account, please choose Sign in Options. Select Offline Account. Please enter your name. Go ahead and set up password and security questions. Please enable or disable these privacy settings as you wish. From here it is going to take little more time, so please be patient. Finally, we are at beautiful and elegant Windows 11. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.